Many games with sprites use a flicker effect to convey that a character is temporarily invincible or use it on defeated enemies to smoothly despawn them. This technique has been used by retro games for the longest time, but it's still useful today even when we make sprite-based games in Unreal Engine 5. You might have already watched my tutorial on sprite flashing, which you can use in combination with the sprite flickering I'm about to teach you. To demonstrate the implementation, I'll use my sprite character blueprint. However, all you need is a blueprint with a sprite or flipbook, since you might also want to use this effect on other items and not just characters. The implementation is actually very simple. On the sprite or flipbook, you can find the visible property. We basically just want to turn this on and off repeatedly from our blueprint. Create a new function called toggle sprite flicker. Grab a reference to the sprite or flipbook and call set visibility on it. Copy and paste the sprite node and use get visibility. Then use the not node to flip it around. All this does is get the current visibility state and set it to the opposite of what it currently is. You might want to check propagate to children if you have a sprite that is made up of multiple parts or layers. In this case I only have one sprite so I don't need it. To demonstrate how this works let's go to begin play. Let's use the timer by event node here. This node will help us call a function at a certain time interval with the option to loop it. Drag off from the event pin and create event. For the function we want to select toggle sprite flicker which we just created before. Drag off of the time pin and promote it to a variable. I'll call it flicker interval. Compile it and set the default value to 0.05. We can adjust this later. This number will determine the time interval at which we turn the visibility of the sprite on and off. Make sure to check looping so this function will be called over and over again until we stop the timer. When you start the game now you can see that the sprite is correctly flickering on and off. We can now go back into the blueprint and update the default value of flicker interval. You might want to change this depending on the situation, but 0.15 looks like a good base value. To make things a bit more semantic, we can just select these nodes with the timer, right click and collapse to function. Calling it start sprite flicker will make it easier to understand what we really do here. Now we also need a function to stop the flickering, but we need to save the timer handle first. So open up the start sprite flicker function. The return value of the set timer event will give us a timer handle which we want to promote to a variable to have access to it later. Create a new function and call it stop sprite flicker. Get reference to the sprite flicker handle and call clear on it. This will stop the function being called over and over again. After that we need to get a reference to the sprite again and make sure to set it to visible, since we can't guarantee the looping function stopped at the moment our sprite was visible. Now again to demonstrate let's go to begin play. After starting the sprite flicker add a delay node with 5 seconds. And then call stop sprite flicker. When starting the game you can see that the sprite will now flicker for a while, stop and then the sprite is visible again. Now you basically just need to use the start sprite flicker and stop sprite flicker function at the correct places in your blueprint, such as invincibility starting or stopping. When a character died you only need to start the flicker before despawning it, no need to stop it since the actor will be destroyed anyway. I hope this will add another tool to your belt when making 2D games of any kind. If you want to try making a 2D top-down game in Unreal Engine 5, check out my other tutorial. As always, thanks to my amazing patrons.